Hello. For this final activity on this section in which we are talking about cause and effect and contrast, I have an activity for you. And it is about holidays. So read the instruction with me, please. It says, prepare the script of an oral presentation about your favorite holiday using the words however, because, and therefore. So there is a little trick here. First of all, you're going to choose a, a holiday that you like. New Year's Eve, uh, Mother's Day, Independence Day, Christmas, summer, or whatever your favorite holiday is. And then I want you to use these specific words, however, to imply contrast because to have the cause follow the word because and therefore to have the cause before the word therefore. So it is uh, something that I would like to help you do, uh, especially so that you can process causes and effects in the right place. So, and I have one extra suggestion for you, actually. Remember that I told you in the last activity that it is good to have a, a sentence that introduces the topic of your presentation? Well, after you introduce the topic of your presentation, which would be expressing your main idea in the very first sentence that you mentioned, then you're going to develop that idea with some details. And the last thing that you do, or that you say in your presentation, should be something that we call a concluding statement. Concluding statement is a conclusion that summarizes or closes your presentation. Just like when we say, and that's all I have to say about this. Thank you very much. That is your conclusion. So I want you to please pause the video right now and prepare your script as if you were going to get ready to present in, in front of an audience. All right, pause the video and I'll show you a sample script in a moment. All right, so let me give you this sample answer. So can you read it with me, please? Let's, let's make sure that we understand it. Oh, this person wrote, this boy wrote about his favorite holiday, which is Christmas. All right, it says, my favorite holiday is Christmas. That's it. Introduction of the idea. So the person is going to talk about their favorite holiday, that is Christmas. It's not Christmas is the saddest moment of the year. No, it is just telling us what the main idea of the presentation is. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Many say that many say that season brings a spirit of peace and reconciliation. Yes, that is true. Many people think that Christmas brings peace and reconciliation. During that time, most people are excited because there are decorations and special music everywhere. So the decorations and the music makes everybody happy and excited. So that is the cause for people being happy and excited. However, oh, something good now, probably something different. However, I know that it can also be a little overwhelming. Yeah, overwhelming it means that you feel like there is too much to grasp, too much to understand. So you feel you may, it can also be a little overwhelming if we compare, we compare all the shopping and anticipation for some people. So uh, I understand what the, per the boy is doing. All the shopping and anticipation of some people and the lack of others. Some people don't have all the resources, all the means for the shopping and all the festivities. They may lack. Lack means they have absence of some things. So they don't have all the means of other people. So that is contrast with all the excitement of Christmas. That's a very nice job. Let's continue. I still consider it the best part of the year for being at home with family, creating, therefore, so what are we going to create? So what is the, the consequence, the result of this being in the family? Creating, therefore, 
wonderful memories that only this kind of gathering can create. That is nice, yes? That is why I love Christmas. That is a simple, a very simple conclusion. That's why I love Christmas, period. So, as you can see, the important thing of this sample is not only that we are using a good, um, let's say, structure for presentations, but that we are using cause and effect, contrast, and that cause and effect may appear before or after uh, some terms. I'm going to pause my camera right, right now, and you're going to listen to the pronunciation of these sentences. All right? So, listen to him, please. My favorite holiday is Christmas. Many say that season brings a spirit of peace and reconciliation. During that time, most people are excited because there are decorations and special music everywhere. However, I know it can also be a little overwhelming if we compare all the shopping and anticipation for some people and the lack of others. I still consider the best part of the year for being at home with family creating, therefore, wonderful memories that only this kind of gathering can create. That is why I love Christmas. So with this, actually, we, we conclude the, the, the activities on cause and effect and contrast. And this is the last video of level four. Congratulations on having finished this level. We had a lot of activities to complete and I thank you because you have been very good with that. And we're gonna start with level five on the next one. I hope to see you there, all right? Bye-bye for now.